I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com and today's flute tip is on the importance of your throat in tone production. When we're trying to get a really good tone, we often don't think about the throat and how that is involved with getting a good tone. We mostly concentrate on what is the what are the lips doing? Uh, where am I on this amateur hole? Uh, what's going on between my teeth and what's going on inside my mouth, but we don't think about the throat. And sometimes when you're on the cusp of getting that perfect tone, the throat, just figuring out what the throat should be doing is the key to getting the tone you're looking for. Sometimes you just get so far and you just can't get over that hump and all it is is a throat issue. And once you figure that out, your, your tone just blossoms. So let's just talk about the throat for just a little bit here. And let's talk about what should the throat be doing. I know when I used to play long time ago in high school and even at the beginning of college, my throat was really tight and I never knew it. I had no idea that my throat was tight. And um, that is the biggest key is that you need to have an open throat. And what does that mean? Well, an open throat is when you take a yawning breath, when you take just open up as if you were going to yawn. And it, you sound like a bag of wind. It just opens up, there's no sound. When you hear a sound, that's a tight throat. That means the throat is tighter together. It's more, you know, this wide. When you do the yawning breath, it opens up like that. It's just a hollow tube that sends your tone out. So the first thing that you need to think about is having that open throat, letting it blossom, letting your tone out. If I play with a tighter throat, I can play and it can sound nice, but I'm definitely having a tighter embouchure. My throat being tight gives me a tighter embouchure. And if I open that up, take that yawning breath, I hear a difference when I open my throat up as opposed to playing with it tight. It gives me that buzzy, edgy sound that maybe I might want to use sometimes. But when I want to have an open, resonant sound, I have to start with the throat. When I open my throat, then I'm not relying on my lips to get all my tone to come out properly. Uh, I can, the opening the throat up opens this up and allows me to have more freedom here because you know, when you're tense in one part of your body, you're tense in a lot of other areas. All you need to do is go to uh, a massage therapist or a chiropractor and they'll, you know, explain how that is. But if you're tight in your throat, you're probably tight elsewhere. Uh, it's hard definitely hard to be loose here and tight here. But I have students that I'm working on their embouchure and I can get them to loosen up in here and still something is not right. And then I, oh yes, the throat. And all I have to do is talk about how you do that yawning breath and wham, their tone just comes out beautifully. So you do have to do work here. You have to, you know, loosen this up. And I've got plenty of videos on loosening your embouchure, relaxing your embouchure and teeth spacing. Uh, but opening that throat to give you that perfect tone is the lap sometimes the last key that you need in order to have the tone you're looking for so when you're playing think about your throat what is it doing and now let me just ask or let me tell you one more thing about the throat so even when i open the throat sometimes uh, with students, uh, what happens is they open their throat, but they stop it right here. Stop it right before the nasal passages. And that is still going to give you a better tone than if your tone, your throat was tight. But what you really need to do is let your throat open all the way up into your sinus cavity. So when you take that yawning breath, 
and you think about what does it feel like in there, it is open all the way up. When you yawn, you're not closing off anything. But when you take a breath, sometimes that's a closed off breath. I might have opened, I still heard it, so I know something's not quite right, um, but I've closed it off here. But when I open it all the way up into that sinus cavity, I feel it open all the way up. It feels loose and free. So uh, sometimes I tell my students, okay, you have to take that soft palate, which is the top of roof of your mouth here, and raise it and then lower the tongue. We'll bring the back of the tongue a little bit forward or lowered, and all of a sudden it stops clogging up your throat. And now, now I can play. So let me close it off. Open. I could hear a difference between those two. The closed had a little bit more of a mm, edgier ee, kind of sound. And then I opened it up and it, um, it was really beautiful, it was still resonant. If you want to have an edgier sound, there are definitely ways you can do it and still have your throat open all the way up into your sinus cavity. So experiment with that because it's the best way to give you that final push you need into getting the tone you're looking for. That's today's flute tip.